Creating a newsletter can be quite intimidating. There's so many different elements to think about. The copy, images, links, buttons, the design can be quite overwhelming. Thankfully, the new drag and drop feature in Mailer Lite simplifies this process. This tool is intuitive and allows you to create beautiful campaigns without sweating too much. In your dashboard, click on the Create Campaign button. Give your campaign a name. I'll call mine Storewide Sale. And the subject line is what your subscribers see in their inbox. So I'm going to say 50% off running shoes and workout attire. The rest of the fields here are automatically filled with your information. Click Next. Choose the new drag and drop option. This is the default template of the drag and drop feature and it's super easy to modify. First, I'd like to show you the block sidebar where you can find all the different elements that will populate your campaign. If you're looking for a specific block, you can type it in the search bar or use the drop down to review the different block categories. So we have the header, which is usually where you place your logo and branding content, offering you a pretty wide range of content blocks from the title to text and images and video. RSS will integrate your website RSS feed and send it to your subscribers through the newsletter. So it's a great feature if you're writing a blog. Features, if you want to highlight some of the values and benefits of your services or product. In the gallery, you'll be able to feature some imagery. The buttons are connected to a URL on your website or a landing page. So if a subscriber clicks on it, he or she will be sent directly to that URL. You'll also be able to integrate your Shopify or WooCommerce using the e-commerce integration block featuring a specific product and send users directly to your online store. The special category includes different design blocks, the accordion, which allows you to elegantly present and highlight information in expandable tabs. You can also integrate social media events, or if you published an app, offer your subscribers exclusive deals with the voucher feature, add table signatures, and even custom code. Social and sharing lets you add social links and sharing icons so subscribers will be able to share the newsletter on their personal pages and you can also share posts and events directly from your social platforms onto the newsletter. The survey and quiz block allows you to collect valuable information from your subscribers regarding your products or services and you can modify and personalize these blocks to your needs. And lastly, the footer is the bottom block of every newsletter and it includes your contact information, social media links, and the unsubscribe button. The top navigation bar includes the go back button, which will take you to the previous screen. The history button lets you review the design you created and reverse it in case you need to rework the design. The actions button lets you save your design as a template or clear all the active blocks you have in your newsletter. The preview and test button allows you to preview the newsletter on full screen and mobile devices and send a test email that allows you to send the newsletter to yourself so you can see how it looks in your inbox. And lastly, done editing will save the newsletter and take you to the next screen. I'm going to remove all the blocks that I won't be using in this campaign by clicking on the edit icon and sending them to the trash. I'm keeping the logo, titles, image, button, footer, and preheader. Now, the preheader is the text that follows the subject line when an email is viewed in the inbox. It provides a sneak peek into what the newsletter is all about. On mobile devices, the preheader is often more prominent than the subject line. So click on the edit icon and add a good summary of the email, and then you can either include it in the body of the email or hide it. If you hide it, it will still be visible in the email preview, but it won't show in the body of the campaign. I'll drag a logo block and replace the placeholder image with my own logo. Click on the edit icon, then on the image, and then either upload a new file to your file manager or select an existing file. Once I chose the logo, I can adjust the sizing by pulling the bottom right corner. Now let's edit the title and the subtitle. Remember, these are the first two lines of text that your subscribers read. So make sure these lines add value and engage them right away. To edit, click on the edit icon and add your text in the editing bar. 
I'm going to edit the hero image. And alternatively, you can drag and drop a video if you have a good shortened to the point message that relates to your campaign in a video format. Now I'm going to click on the edit icon and replace the image. You can upload an image from your computer, import an image from a URL, Google Drive, Giphy, or Unsplash, which is a royalty-free photography website. But I'm going to be using an image that I uploaded to the file manager previously. Remember that you can adjust the sizing by dragging the bottom right corner of the image. Now I'm going to add a bit more text to make sure that my message is clear. I'll drag a text block and change the text by clicking on the edit icon. And here I'm pasting the copy from a Google document that I prepared in advance. Now I'm going to add an e-commerce block. So if my subscribers want to shop online instead of coming to the physical store, this will take them directly to the product page on my store. Drag an e-commerce block into the newsletter and drop it. Then add the URL of the product you want to promote here and change the image. Click on the image and replace it with a picture from your file manager or upload a new file from your computer. Now I'd like to show you the dynamic content feature which allows you to add conditions to specific blocks. Let's say you're sending this newsletter to all of your subscribers, but only the ones with gold membership will be eligible to use this voucher. So what you can do is simply click on the eye icon, then customize the recipients and choose which group should see this voucher. Alternatively, you can specify subscribers by their postal code or exclude a specific group. I'm going to quickly remove this button because I'm not going to be using it after all. The last element in your newsletter should always be the footer, so let's modify it. Click on the edit icon and choose which element you'd like to modify first. I'll start with my social links. You can link the URL here, add more social media buttons here, or remove the ones you don't want to have in your newsletter. Your company's details are drawn from the info you have in your MailerLite account, but if you need to change it for some reason, you can edit the text here. The unsubscribe button must be visible and easy to access by your subscribers, so make sure it's always included in your footer. Thanks for watching! Make sure to click the bell button below so you don't miss any new tutorials. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe to our newsletter. The link is in the description section below. Have an awesome day or night, and I'll see you in the next video.